<sighs> All right. Very excited about this one. Um, it's, it's, I've been procrastinating and actually putting this together. And um, I think it's one of those things where I, I, I think I should wait until I have it all kind of planned out perfectly. And um, been doing just too much research and just never got anywhere with it. And I said, I wanted to share my message. I wanted to try to see if I can, you know, reach out to people and, and share my experience. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. Uh, in fact, it, this whole thing is so, it's still unplanned for me um, because there's just way too many information. And I'm just overwhelmed and today I just decided that I'm just gonna do it uh, and expect the fact that um, things will never be perfect um, and that's the reason why we can just improve from um, the, the things that we do um, so today is the first day this is it um, I did say I'm not gonna try to um, create a massive plan around it but I, I still managed to create that plan so I actually created an outline of what I want to talk about today. Um, so you guys will actually hear me prepare my podcast. And in this podcast, I'm actually using, um, to record it, I'll be using a uh, clean feed. Uh, I could actually use the recorder on my laptop, but um, I just want to get into a habit of using clean feed just so that um, I can see whether this is something I'd want to use when I get someone else connected um, remotely. Um, so far, I've tried it a couple times already. It's, it's been pretty good. And today we'll put this one really to the test. All right, so I kind of have it launched up now. Unfortunately, I'm not too technically savvy and as far as like how to record my screen yet so you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing in my laptop um, although I'll try to walk you guys through as much as I can uh, right. Let's see here so the first thing we're gonna try to do is, so now I have clean feed on and so what I'm gonna try to do is record a channel so this one, we will call it um, intro because uh, that's actually what I wanted to record right now, which is just the, the intro. So the intro, I mean, I just put it together just, um, just a couple minutes ago and I can change it later on, but for now, if I continue to wait until it's perfect, then I feel that um, it'll never happen. Um, so, yeah. Oh, shoot. It started recording already. <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time. Get rid of that. All right, record. Intro. Put it on mute first and put that on pause and then unmute. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the line a couple of times. Um, I wrote just a simple intro. Um, Paul's not here today, but we're going to get this started anyway. There's no better time than today. All right, so I just hit record. Um, so it's really recording right now. So I'm gonna do a couple of tracks on that. All right, here we go. Welcome to OPM Only Positive Movement Channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This podcast is where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. 
in the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to help you take control of your life and create a better version of you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we start now. Welcome to OPM, Only Positive Movement Channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This is a podcast where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. In the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to see like that one, not good. That one's kind of, but it's almost there. One more time. All right. Welcome to OPM. Only positive movement. My name is Alexis. Ah, messed that up. Okay. Welcome to OPM. Only positive movement channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This is a podcast where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. In the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to help you take control of your life and create better version of you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we start now. I think that was pretty good. I think I'll stick with that one. If not, I'll do it again later. All right. So let me um, pause that. Stop. And then download it. So now what I'm doing basically is um, I'm downloading the file um, so that we can listen. And then from there, I can then go through my content. So here you go. All right, so I just hit record. Um, so it's really recording right now. So I'm gonna do a couple of tracks on that. All right, here we go. Welcome to OPM Only Positive Movement Channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This podcast is where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. In the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to help you take control of your life and create a better version of you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we start now. Now. Welcome to OPM, Only Positive Movement Channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This is a podcast where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. In the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to, see, like that one, not good. That one's kind of, but it's almost there. One more time. All right. Welcome to OPM. Only positive movement. My name is Alexis. Ah, messed that up. Okay. Welcome to OPM. Only positive movement channel. My name is Alexis Debon, occasionally joined by my co-host, Paul Doctolero. This is a podcast where we share best practices that could take your life to the next level. In the next eight minutes, you will hear life hacks that you can try to use building great habits. Our goal is to help you take control of your life and create better version of you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as we start now. Yeah. I think that was pretty good. I think I was. I agree with that guy. 
All right, so I, I, I will settle with that. Um, and then I think the best way probably uh, just to kind of make it more, you know, um, personable, I would probably like do it live um, instead of like having pre-recorded or I'll just have to keep recording it and recording it and recording it until it just, you know, coming out more natural. Um, it still kind of sounds scripted, but again, like what I said, I just put that together a few minutes ago. So now um, I'm I'm happy with that. So I will now create a new track where I will record my content. So for my content, I didn't really, I just created like an outline. Um, and I figure I'm just gonna talk through it. So what is my content? So this is, we call it traffic, 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 traffic is so bad. That's why we're talking about traffic in a good way. All right. Okay. So that's all ready to go. Check, check. All right. I'm going to pause it. Okay, now we're gonna start. So welcome. And today, we are gonna talk about something that's um, very interesting. Well, it's, it's interesting because I, I was in this situation um, just last night, actually. Um, so I... Yeah, that was bad. I gotta start over. Think, 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 think. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Okay. Welcome. Nope, that's not it. Start over. Ching, choo, choo, choo. Thank you for tuning in. So today's topic is how to make traffic a better experience um why do i say that well because traffic is really just a shitty feeling you know i mean you you well here in the philippines that's like the biggest problem um people go to work and then it probably you know, if, if they drive on average, it'll probably take them like at least an hour and a half um, to get to uh, point A to point B. Um, that is from home to work, if that's where they're only going. But if they actually have to go to multiple stops, then that's a different story. Um, but for the others who doesn't drive and they have to commute, that's a whole nother, you know, story to talk about because, yeah, the public transportation here in the Philippines is just horrible. Um, it's not organized. Um, I mean, it, it, I don't think it'll ever change. It's just one of those things where it's, cool, it's a cultural thing where they try to give that convenience to the people. Um, and, and until such time that they figure out that, you know, you can still provide convenience if you actually create a structure or organize it so that it's not chaotic that, like the way it is, then, you know, I, I, I think it would probably solve a little bit of the problem with traffic. Um, and then the other one is that there's just way too many drivers out there that are not mindful of, you know, how they're driving. Um, and I think that stemming from just uneducated drivers and it's not their fault. There's a need for them to be driving, but the problem is they didn't take the time to understand um, how to respect, you know, road courtesy. So last night, um, I, I'm, I'm here by the way in Manila um, because I had to attend a couple of work um, events um, and I also still need to be for here for work until uh, Monday so I had to stay over the weekend 
Um, and last night I had to meet up with some people. Um, I'm staying in Manila Bay, which is in Pasay City. And I had to meet people in um, Makati. And um, I'm, I'm even right now I'm having anxiety just, you know, thinking about it. I was stuck in traffic right when I got out of the hotel. Um, and mind you not, I mean, from here to Rockwell, where I needed to go to, um, it's only six kilometers. Now, I can't do the conversion at the moment, but um, I'm not really quite sure how, much, how, how far is that in miles, but I would imagine it's, it's just a couple miles. So technically speaking, if I wanted to walk, I could have walked, but given the fact that it's not a walkable city, <laughs> Um, and it's, it's, it's a health hazard and, and it's just dangerous uh, to be walking on the, in, on the streets here in, in Manila. I drove myself or I actually took a, a, a grab, a ride hailing um, uh, company. And um, it took me almost an hour and a half. And as I look out the window, there were more people that I see that are just like frustrated and I can see it in their faces. And so, you know, it just kind of got me thinking like, what can they do? What can one do? I mean, wh like, what do I do to manage this? And a lot of people get mad I mean you know they get frustrated they get stressed they they allow this to be a negative experience that impacts their, their their life so for someone that's like coming from work and going home to their family they already had a you know tough day and now they got to deal with this traffic by the time they get home, they already lost all that positive energy to share with their family. And it, it's just, it sucks. And so that's why I decided to um, make this content because I want to um, let people hear that there is other things that you can actually do to alleviate it. And one of the things that I, I just want to probably cover is probably, you know, remind people to stop controlling what you can't control. And if you can't change it, then don't feel bad about it. Just accept it. And the traffic here in the Philippines, the truth is, it's gonna take time for us to be able to fix this. But for us to be able to fix this, it's not just you know the government. It's not just you know the the city. You know, it's the individuals within that road. You know, so but given the fact that that's too many individuals we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on a daily basis there is just no way to control all those people and even if you do a public announcement of road courtesy it will help you know streamline our traffic people will still not follow it because you can't control people right you can only influence them that's what you can do and so in that said, you're going to have to just accept it, right? And many people that, you know, many people when they are stuck in traffic, they, they start freaking out, you know, why? Because they're, they're, they're running late, you know, they want to get home, you know, they have to pick up someone, they're going out on a date or they're on their way to work 
and now they're late. Well, it's like that every day. So why not adjust yourself? It's unfortunate, but adjust yourself to the situation. If you know that it normally takes you an hour and a half, and let's just say that you have to be at work by 8 a.m., then that means you got to make sure that you already prepare to leave the house no later than 6.30 a.m. It's, and it's unfortunate that you have to put in that extra time just so that you can actually make it on time. But that's, that's your control. And the traffic is not your control. So make the adjustment on your end. And that's one step of you having a better experience in traffic. Our goal here is to make this negative experience into a positive one. And by doing that, adjust your time. The next is, um, you know, s stop getting frustrated, but instead channel that. You're, you're already stuck in traffic. Might as well make the best of it, right? You know you can't control traffic. You can't make the people move quicker. So you might as well make the best of it. And how do you do that? Well, turn on the radio. Sing to a, sing to a song that you, that you like. You have Spotify, play, play your playlist. Listen to a radio station. But don't listen to a radio station that plays negative, negative news. So I'd rather you play music, right? So it's either you sing to sing to uh, to a song, or you dance to a song. Boogie on out, you know. Enjoy yourself. That's an hour and a half that you can rock out inside your car. Smile. Be pleasant. Smile to everybody else around you that's also stuck in that traffic because then you can make them feel the same way. Be happy, right? Because being sad, being angry, is not gonna make traffic move quicker. Because if you don't make that hour and a half a more positive experience by choosing it, then you're just going to drain yourself out. Putting that negative impact on yourself is not going to make your day better. So you might as well choose the better way, which is making it positive. Because the reality is that you can either enjoy every moment of every day by accepting the things you can't change. Or you can let them bother you or upset you and then ultimately make you sad, scared, angry, depressed or whatever it is, right? So choose wisely on how you wanna spend your time in traffic. Then the other option, if you don't want to look like a crazy person that's like partying it out, rocking it out in your car, then my suggestion is use that hour and a half. That's an hour and a half each day for five days. That's seven and a half hours. That's technically almost a full day that you could be investing in yourself and learn. Right? When's the last time you picked up a book? The great thing these days, you can read a book, but not necessarily having to hold the book up and read it, but you can, you know, listen to an audio book. 
Um, in fact, on a daily basis, uh, so I downloaded this um, um, uh, audio book from Amazon um, and I, I created an account and I created a subscription and I started just buying books. I went from hating to read books to now I literally go through at least one book a week. And, and I chose to invest in myself by creating some, you know, positive development, self-development. So an hour and a half, that's enough to actually read either a full book or halfway through a book. There's so many books that you guys can read. And in fact, one book that I just kind of went through, oh, well, not kind of, I did. In fact, I'm on my second round and reading this book again. It's um, this book um, called Miracle Morning. And this book had definitely changed the way I look at things. And that hour and a half that you are in your car focusing on something like a book that's going to improve your life whether it be it financially in business or relationship you're having problems at home have you ever thought about the reason why you're having problems at home is because you haven't mastered how that relationship should be. And maybe it's not your fault, but you need to have some, you know, education behind it. So why don't you get some books that will teach you like how to better manage your relationship to become a better husband or wife or a better child, whatever your situation might be, right? So, that's all I really wanted to share is that I want you guys to take your, you know, your hour and a half that, you know, was wasted before and other things like Facebook. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Facebook because you guys are connecting with people. But for me, I'd rather spend that time in developing myself or, you know, listening to a good music because then I'm feeding my soul. Right. So by the time I get to my next destination, I'm energized. I'm ready to go again. In fact, I'm, I'm more than ready to go that I can, you know, rule the world or, you know, fix the world and, and which is one of my goals. So if you guys like this episode, please share with your friends because I know for a fact there's like thousands and thousands of people that goes through this every day. So a lot of people can relate. So if you want to make someone else's life a little bit better, please do share this. Thank you and hope you guys enjoy your travel each day. From this point onward, that should be a positive experience. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Shoot. I hope that recorded because I just spent 17 minutes and I'll be damned if it didn't. And now that 17 minutes is being downloaded and the next step is we're going to All right. post-production. So I'm not gonna listen to the whole thing. I'm just gonna skim through right. it. Okay, now we're gonna start events I'm going three minutes um, and in. I also still need to be for here for work until uh, Monday so I had to stay over the weekend okay. um, and last night I had to meet up with some people um, I'm staying in Manila Bay with okay so that's good uh, something just weird just happened and I think uh, I noticed that um, the other night which is <laughs> all the lights just turned off and um, good thing I, I still have these lights. So give me one second. I'll be right back.
there. It's really weird. Um, I think what it is is that they have that motion sensor thing. And so a uh, specific area of the room. By the way, this room is so like just fancy. Um, they upgraded me. And that's uh, another episode that will probably, um, I'll share that with you guys. Um, I will take a video of this uh, room and show you guys. Um, I am, I'll let you know where I'm staying at. I won't tell you right now. Um, but anyways, I think there is certain spots of the room where they have sensors. And if I'm not in that area, then it probably detects that, you know, no one's in the room. So then the light shuts off. It's a little scary though, because then if someone didn't know that that's the case, they'll probably think that there's a ghost, right? Um, but, well, I hope, yeah, no, I hope there's no ghost like what I'm thinking at the moment. So, but anyways, Thank you for staying with me. Um, that was my first episode and I will put the link on when I will have this uploaded because I still got to clean it up and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to edit it. I'm not a pro, nowhere near becoming a pro and I'm just basically learning as I go. So thank you for staying tuned, uh, tuning in with me. And you guys have a good day. Bye for now.